Hello, it's Moody Pones here, aka Moody, aka Mods. You know, kind of like the applesauce, kind of like the juice boxes. You know, all that stuff. It, I think it's a cute nickname. But here I have a battle. It's the first round of the tournament I'm participating in. So this one is against the acoustic kind, and I see that he has a polytoad on his team in the preview. So. I figure weather is not going to be a problem for me here, seeing as I have my own Politoed and this is a Rain Dance team. So uh, he leads off with Politoed, so he sets up Rain for me. It's not going to be a problem. The bigger problem throughout this whole battle is really the entry hazards that he's setting up on my side. And uh, meanwhile, I am setting up my own entry hazards. The thing is, he has his own rapid spinner, and I do not have a ghost type to block the rapid spin. Rapid spin is a normal move, and normal moves are not affected by ghost type Pokemon. However, I don't carry a ghost type Pokemon on this team. The, th it's like, the thing is, I would be able to do massive damage to a lot of his team with thunderous at least if I can get this ferrothorn out of the way ferrothorn is really the only thing that gave me trouble throughout this whole match because I this team is centered around having thunderous set up nasty plot and sweep but thunderous can't do that if ferrothorn is still in play because ferrothorn first of all resists thunder and it will not die to a plus two or a plus four or I'm not even sure but I don't think it'll even die to a plus six thunder or hidden power ice that I carry so throughout this whole match I struggle and rack up entry hazards and through a lot of my Pokemon while trying to like find the opportunity to send in thunderous and try and get him to start sweeping and throughout this whole match it's really just uh, more or less a re like it goes in circles he sets up entry hazards he spins them away I set them up again spin them away and when I saw the way this was going I thought that I was gonna lose this match eventually due to all the entry hazards that are being set up and the I'm racking up damage and there really isn't anything I can just do to dent his team and also another thing Jirachi when he sent in Jirachi I figured that may be uh, offensive type Pokemon on this team I figured no matter what Jirachi would hit I would not die because the Jirachi I usually see are uh, what do you call it uh, especially defensive now so I figure thunder wave it luckily he went for thunder predicting me to switch and I feel like that Jirachi may have been scarfed it may have been that one Pokemon that's supposed to just like um, take care of all the weakened Pokemon from entry hazards and that kind of thing so I feel like once I got that Jirachi paralyzed uh, that was also a good thing because it may have been scarfed or something I'm not sure so I uh, like I figured since he switched then uh, he was probably choiced I figure scarfed since the rest of his team is really defensive so he needs like another Pokemon to just like kill off um all the Pokemon that are like uh, just switching in due to all the entry hazards so I feel like since I got that Jirachi paralyzed that was also a key part to this thing because if it was not paralyzed later on uh, it would have probably affected the match that's one thing there, there are a few other things that would have affected the match like I just keep switching and switching I I really regret not having a rapid spinner on this team but I just need to get one dent in this team because after that I feel like I'm home free like I keep switching in Latios Bronzong comes in Bronzong has hidden power ice I can't switch in my Gliscor or my Latios because he has hidden power ice granted I won't die but it's not worth the risk of me 
not being able to knock it out. So, I mean, here's the key part. I'm able to, well, I get off a of Paris song, so he's going to want to switch. And then I figure, let's go for Encore, because he's going to go for Rapid Spin. So, he's going to have to switch here, while I know I'm free to set up a nasty plot. I know he was going to go into Ferrothorn, because Ferrothorn is definitely going to resist. I go for a substitute, thinking he might have Thunder Wave or Leech Seed, and... Thank God he went for Leech Seed because now that gives me another free turn to set up one more nasty plot. And knowing Ferrothorn, I am definitely going to need it to get rid of this thing. He goes for a Power Whip, which is going to break my sub. It does more than 25%. And I'm, I decide since I'm, I'm, I'm faster. So I figure <clears throat> I'll go for another substitute just in case he decides to go for Leech Seed or Thunder Wave if he has it again. But he goes for another Power Whip. So right here, I'm like, okay, I'm going to attack with Thunder because Thunder is Stab. And I think its base power is 120 plus the percent uh, of par Paralysis is also pretty decent. And I'm hoping I can live this po Power Whip. And I live with 53 hit points. And thankfully, I'm glad I don't run Life Orb on this set because that would have just killed me off if I ran Life Orb. I actually prefer the leftover set. And I go for the Hidden Power Ice, knowing that it'll knock it out just in case he decides to like switch to Gliscor or something to resist Thunder. But it doesn't really matter since I outspeed. So he goes into Drachi, and I go for a stab Thunder. Thunder is definitely going to kill it off, seeing as. Uh, what's his name? Ferrothorn only took a bit, a bit over half, so it's definitely going to kill off Jirachi for neutral damage. It's definitely going to kill off Bronzong for neutral damage, and the rest of his Pokemon are weak to Thunder or Hidden Power Ice. So he sends in Gliscor just in case I don't have Hidden Power Ice, I suppose, and I have like something else, I suppose, and. Kills off Glis Gliscor for super effective damage. And right here, he's just left with his uh, water Pokemon. So that's game. So fantastic game. I thought, you know, it was pretty fun. So comment, rate, sub. Later, guys.